We've had sliding bridge plate systems forever uh, in cinema. Uh, basically, you mount the camera on the top and you can slide it back and forth to balance if you have a big lens or something. And then you have rod mounts in either 15 or 19 studio so that you can put, I'll just slide that on there, and you can then use a couple of these rods just to be able to mount uh, support for a map box or to hold up a heavy lens or whatever accessories you might be putting on your camera. Works great, it's been around forever and ever, but um, well, you know, this is big heavy metal stuff and if you're using one of these new little cameras, you might not need all this, so you might want to go to the smaller system. So uh, this particular system is from Threality Technica, it's called the Hybrid because it can switch between 15 or 19 studio systems, pretty clever that way. Uh, and they have got even more clever, they've come out with a new system called Micron. Uh, and this is a, just a miniaturized version of that, if you will. It's designed for the lightweight 15 millimeter rod system. So you can see it takes the same kind of rod. I'll just slide that off there, put that right in there. But this is to the lightweight system, which is closer up to the bottom of the camera, and they're also closer together. It's just for smaller configurations. Uh, it's another standard that we've had for quite some time. Now, you can look at this, you can see you're not getting any closer to, you're not going to make this any smaller. You're not getting any closer to that rod than you are right now. You actually cut a big hole in the top of this, and that rod, if you made the, the bridge any smaller, you'd be chopping up the rod. So it, that's not going to happen. Well, this happens to be the standard that you need. Uh, this is the right height and spacing for the Canon C100, 300, 500 cameras. So that works just as is right on the bottom of that camera. Uh, and then, you know, you, you take the bridge, you put it onto the dovetail, you can balance, slide around, do whatever you need to do there. But if you're using some other cameras that maybe that height is not uh, so, uh, so extreme, so you're not right at the surface, well, then they have spacer plates that you put in between to bridge the gap between the bottom of the camera and the bridge plate. So let's take a look at the system actually up on a camera. Here is the new Sony F5, the same camera body as the F55. I just took off the viewfinder so that you can actually see everything here. Here's the, the Micron bridge right up here. Uh, it's, you can see it's quite small. Uh, and then there's this long plate, it's a shim plate, and that is the spacer, if you will, between the camera and the bridge so that they, the height is the correct spacing and it's all lined up properly. Now, because they made a nice long plate here, they're then able to attach a shoulder pad right to it, and it's very close to the set front of the camera, so you have good balance and you know nice center of gravity for that on your shoulder, and it's quite comfortable as well. Uh, then you have uh, another rod mount in the back, uh, just in lightweight 15, in case you want to put whatever, again, whatever accessories you might need to be putting onto your camera system. Now I showed you this dovetail plate, which is again a sort of a miniature version of the big studio style dovetail plate. You can take a quick release from a tripod plate and put it, mount it onto the bottom of this, and then you can mount this right on your tripod. Uh, or if you have an O'Connor 1030 head or the Sackler 7x7 seven seven HD head, they actually take a plate for the, that goes onto the, the tripod that is the exact same size as this, so you can replace it with this. You don't need to put anything on the bottom of this. This goes directly onto the head, so that's a pretty clever design in that regard. But they actually have another plate that you can mount the bridge to, which I find even more clever. If I'm going to just take it out of here, slide that out. This little adapter plate it has quarter 20 and 3 eighths holes, just like the other dovetail. Uh, and so you can take your quick release plate and mount it onto the bottom of this uh, little wedge, if you will. I mean, you can see that's not going to get any smaller. That's as small as you would ever be able to fit something in there. But now I can take the camera, I can slide it back and forth and get my balance. I can also slide it right off and now I'm free and clear. There's nothing in the way of the shoulder pad and yet I still have rod mounts on the front and back. So it's a trimmed down system to be able to run around with handheld. When I want to put it on the, on the tripod, I slide it on here. But what's really neat about this piece is that it bridges between this bridge system and this bridge system. Because, well, I'll show you, I have one mounted up. It's like a cooking show where they pull it out of the oven, already done. Here it is mounted, just, just screwed it on, onto the top of, this one is in Studio 15, this particular one's in Studio 19, but this is the, the Three Alley Technica hybrid system. Now, 
I am the correct height and spacing. If I take this guy, slide it on, now these rods are correctly located for where they're supposed to be relative to the camera, to the lens mount. So imagine that I can buy this system right here with this wedge piece and that works on my lightweight tripod rig running around with whatever I need to do. But then if I need to move up to a studio support system, all I have to do is take this off of my tripod plate, mount it right on here, and now I'm correct height if I need to be using big lenses or what other accessories I might need to do. So it's really nice expandable system in that way. Very cleverly done. Now let me show you some of the other little bits to the system. You have a top plate here with a bunch of quarter 20 and 3 eighths and whatever holes all over it so that you can mount whatever accessories you might need to be mounting. One neat bit right here is this little pin that is on a, a removable, it's just got a little spring mounted thing there. It prevents you from accidentally removing the adapter mount, which is uh, the camera is native with this like really shallow FZ mount. And then they have the PL mount adapter, which comes with it. Well, this stops you from twisting and turning the wrong one. It just, you know, it won't come out unless you pull that pin first so that you can get it out if you really want to, uh, which is just a nice clever idea. You can mount onto this, uh, this top plate, you can mount the original Sony top handle uh, with its viewfinder mount because uh, they included the holes on there for that. Or if you would like, you can switch over to Threality's own top handle. And it's a nice mounting system, which then also you get this little spud mount so that you can mount the viewfinder. That's how on these cameras, the viewfinder mounts on the handle. And uh, you can mount on the front. You can actually, there's a way you can mount it on the back as well. If you on a rig that might want to have the viewfinder far back. And you have this little accessory mounting place uh, that is kind of designed for other viewfinder mount systems, but you could actually mount like a microphone thing off of it as well. It's just nicely laid out. This is the Micron system. It's the Elements Micron system from Threality Technica. This is the particular kit that we have for the F555 and it's available from Able City.